So imagine you could carry a 201 inch movie screen and surround sound right in your pocket. Ready to go ahead and turn any kind of room into your personal theater. It sounds pretty cool, right? Well, that's exactly what these Radio Air 2S XR glasses do. They're designed to go ahead and revolutionize TV watching, and today I'm gonna to be diving into all their features. I'll share the highlights, the little quirks, and we'll even do an unboxing with everything together so you can see exactly what's inside. Because there's one accessory here that makes these glasses even more powerful. All right, let's kick things off with an unboxing. Right on the top, we're gonna go ahead and have the Ray Neo Air 2 XR glasses themselves. They're super lightweight, only about 78 grams, and they even look like regular sunglasses. But trust me, these are packed with high-end tech. Next, we have the protective case. It's a nice touch, especially since these glasses are an investment. Then there's a USB-C cable which connects your glasses to almost anything. We're talking like your iPhone, your Android devices, gaming consoles, and more. But theirs is not only alone impressive, but this is even cooler of how these glasses work with some special accessories. Rayneo also has some really fun add-ons to make things even better, like Pocket TV powered by Google TV. I'll tell you guys about that here in a bit of how it lets you stream everything from Amazon, Hulu, Netflix, and more. Plus there's something surprising about this Pocket TV I'll share with you here in a minute. By the way, if you like tech, my name is CTG here. You can go ahead and call me Jesse too. But here on CTG, we have all types of things to help you out with product reviews, especially home and tech items. If you like those things, don't forget to hit that subscribe button. But more importantly, if you do like technology like these glasses here, make sure you also give it a big thumbs up. And YouTube will also suggest videos like this one here, even if it's not on my channel. I also added all the links down below in the description, or you can actually hit pause here and scan this QR code with your phone now get into the experience these glasses offer. The Ray Neo Air 2S XR glasses uses the micro OLED display technology. Basically when you put these on, it's like looking at a huge 201 inch screen from about six meters away. Way bigger than any kind of phone or tablet screen and it's immersive. The image quality is amazing, colors really pop. So watching shows or gaming feels like it's like super vivid, but I'll be up front. There are some users that have mentioned that the edges can get a little blurry, especially in the corners. And with such a big screen, sometimes you'll also have to move your head to see the entire view very, very clearly. But don't worry, there are quick fixes for these and I'll show you soon. Just one small adjustment can make just the biggest difference. All right, now let's talk about the sound and comfort of these glasses. These XR glasses have what's called push-push quad speaker setup. So basically you have four speakers built in that give you a nice surround sound effect. The highs, the bass come through clearly, making whatever you're watching feel more immersive. They also have what's called Whisper Mode 2.0, which is kind of a genius feature because it's going to go ahead and keep the surround private. So you don't disturb anyone nearby, perfect for airplanes. It's perfect late night watching as well, but there's also another scenario which this might actually be super helpful. I'll share with that in a sec. Comfort wise, they are only 78 grams and have adjustable arms and nose pads, which means you can wear them comfortably for hours. And if you wear glasses, don't worry because these are designed to fit over your regular glasses, or you can actually get them custom prescription frames that fit, or you can get custom prescription frames that can fit perfectly inside. So there's no sacrificing comfort here. The Ray Neo Air 2S also comes with some really neat customization features that make it big different for different situations. For example, there are 10 levels of brightness adjustments that go up to 600 nits. This means you can actually use these comfortably in any kind of lighting, inside, outside, dim, or even bright. And they also have three different color profiles that you can choose from, which makes it perfect for adjusting to different content or your even personal preference. Plus, if you're a gamer, 
These glasses support up to 120 hertz refresh rate, so gameplay is super smooth with no lag. But there's a different hidden feature advantage to that refresh rate, especially when it comes to fast-paced games, which I'll get into soon. And remember that Pocket TV I mentioned? Not only can you stream from all your favorite apps, but it also works as a power bank for all other devices. So these glasses are pretty amazing, but like anything, there are without their quirks. The field of view is a bit limited, so you may need to move your head around a little to see the whole screen. Plus there's no adjustment opacity, which means you can't see through them easily when they're on, kind of like a VR headset. This is something to go ahead and keep in mind if you're used to see-through AR glasses. And remember, screen cough I mentioned earlier, reducing the screen size to about 90 to 80% really clears things up and makes it easy to see the whole picture. It's a simple little tweak, but it makes a big difference in clarity. Overall, the Ray Neo Air 2 XR glasses are honestly a blast to use. <laughs> you get a big, vibrant screen, immersive sound, and tons of way to go and connect these to almost any kind of device. They're not perfect. With some quirks with edges, field of view and opacity are worth noting. But if you're looking to revolutionize your TV watching or game experience, these XR glasses are definitely worth a try. Thanks for hanging out with me today. If you have any kind of questions about the Ray Neo Air 2S XR glasses or just want to chat, just go ahead and drop a comment below. And if you like this review, don't forget to hit that subscribe button for more tech insights like this. I'll see you guys on the next one.